So hi guys, welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be taking out some twists. Now these twists are just like simple wash day twists. I didn't do them with the intention of wearing a twist out. Um, I normally do some braids or twists um, directly after I wash my hair so that my hair dries detangled and stretched. Okay. Ok, so ahora mi pelo está en torcidos y me voy a abrirlas para ver cómo se va. Um, cuando he hecho este, pues este no es un peinado, este es, son trenzas o torcidos um, que yo he hecho en la noche después lavarme el pelo, ok? No he hecho esa para tener un estilo fantástico, maravilla. Es solamente para quedar um, o que se asegure que mi pelo no enredarse cuando está secando, ¿ok? So, vamos a ver. <laughs> Parece un poco raro, pero lo que sea. <laughs> yeah, so guys, this really, I really didn't do these twists to be doing a twist out. I had no intention of doing a twist out, so I was really like scared, like how the result would turn out because it just looks so crazy um you know what i mean and also the hair felt soft but it kind of felt a little bit dry at the same time so i was really worried about tangles in the end um yeah <laughs> so kind of like a oxymoron really i did the twists to avoid um shrinkage and tangles but then in the end the hair kind of felt dry anyway but that was my fault because i didn't use leave-in conditioner i just deep conditioned and then i just like i left like maybe 10 percent of the deep conditioning in my hair and just put it in twists i really didn't have the time or patience just to be ravaging and da -da -da. The, the, at least the only thing i did was i oiled the scalp and ran a little bit of oil down the hair but i know that my hair the type of my the type of hair that i have it definitely needs um, some cream then oil. I can't just get away with an oil. Okay. So, si sí, ahora estoy abriendo los torcidos y mi después me voy a separar un poco más para tener el, el aspecto de afro. I'm gonna make it look like an afro after this. So, as you can see here, I'm making some progress. The hair is looking thicker. Um, I'm trying to be really careful with the ends, you know, sometimes you get a bit excited and just like rush through the ends and end up breaking the ends and then like six months later you don't know why your hair's not growing. It's because when you're taking your styles out, you were ripping the ends and not realising that you were like breaking your hair and then some people, they just have this old mindset of, oh, it's just the tangles at the ends, you know, you're just, you're just breaking the tangles. No, you're breaking your hair. If tang tangled hair is still your hair. So, like when the black hair salons used to rip through your hair with a blow dryer and the afro pick and they're like, oh, it's just the tangles at the end. No, it's still hair. That's why it's better to like do it really gently and slowly and do it on moisturised hair. Detangle on moisturised hair, you know. My hair is already detangled, but my hair had been in these twists for a few days and my hair, you know, obviously dead hair will eventually slide down, so you have to still gently unravel it, you know. So yeah, this is an un <laughs> an unorthodox twist out because obviously initially I didn't twist it properly. I didn't divide it properly to wear it as an out style. I'm just taking it down now because just oh, I didn't I just didn't like the look of the twists basically. Anyway, um, and it was just like I said before, primarily just so that my hair dried and stretched. You know, it's meant to be a bedtime style. It wasn't, me, it wasn't meant to be a style to be worn all week. It wasn't meant to be a public worthy style either. That's why I kept it in the bun for like a few days. Okay. So if I wore those twists down, it just looked, it looked really, really weird because they just weren't divided properly and the roots weren't twisted tightly. So, um, although the hair wasn't divided properly, etc., etc., the large, large, you know, like, twists that I did, um, at least it gave me like thickness at the roots, okay? Entonces, en esta parte mi pelo casi está lista. 
para el video y pueden ver que es muy um, grueso y es muy llena tal vez llena es la palabra mejor el pelo es muy llena no hay partes finas ningún parte está rompiendo y sí a mí me parece que es tan saludable y qué más sí y claro que hace mucho tiempo que, que me llevo ese peinado um, me alegro mucho porque parece saludable y ya yeah. muy bien porque normalmente mi pelo no está estirado así, está en torcidos o trenzas y es muy buena para tener mi pelo en esta manera o este estilo y ese es mi pose, you know, de Prince <laughs> el cantante se llama Prince to Solving so yeah, obviously normally, normally I have to do my little Prince poses I was thinking of maybe using one of these for a thumbnail sí, Prince, darling <laughs> So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this outside, I might just wear a bun <laughs> in the end. Because um, obviously the bigger your afro is, the more attention it calls and the harder they stare. So yeah, cuando mi pelo está como así, cuando estoy andando en la calle, la gente siempre está mirando fuerte. Entonces, tal vez me voy a poner, ponerla en un moño, o en un moño, perdón hairband a bun y si pronto que necesito ponerme um, some, algún humectad porque siento un poco seco a la punta so yeah i need to like humidify my hair very soon because it's feeling a bit dry near the ends um, but yeah i'm happy with the growth happy with the thickness um, there's nothing bad happening there's no bald patches no breakage patches Um, hair stays the same. Nothing dramatic changed with my hair. Um, I don't know. Do I want to get some color? I keep saying I want to color my hair. Want to color my hair. Color, my, color my hair. But I don't know when I will do that or if I'll do that. Oh my god! Just some hair porn, really. So yeah, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.